Hi, kindergarten friends. It's Mrs. Ott, and it's time for today's interactive read aloud. Today we'll be reading the book, Mr. Gumpy's Outing by John Burningham. This is the next book in Tech Set 25 Cumulative Tales. What do you notice about Mr. Gumpy and his friends? An outing is a trip that you take for fun, to have a good time. Do you think they will have a good time together? This book, boys and girls, has won awards. You can see the award right here. It's a Parents' Choice Award. Let's read to see what is so special about this book. Mr. Gumpy's Outing. This is Mr. Gumpy. Mr. Gumpy owned a boat and his house was by a river. One day, Mr. Gumpy went out in his boat. May we come with you, said the children. Yes, said Mr. Gumpy, if you don't squabble. Squabble means argue. Can I come along, Mr. Gumpy, said the rabbit. Yes, but don't hop about. I'd like a ride, said the cat. Very well, said Mr. Gumpy, but you're not to chase the rabbit. Will you take me with you, said the dog. Yes, said Mr. Gumpy, but don't tease the cat. May I come please, Mr. Gumpy, said the pig. Very well, but don't muck about. Have you a place for me, said the sheep. Yes, but don't keep bleeding. Can we come too, said the chickens. Yes, but don't flap, said Mr. Gumpy. Can you make room for me, said the calf. Yes, if you don't trample about. May I join you, Mr. Gumpy, said the goat. Very well, but don't kick. Boys and girls, what do you notice about Mr. Gumpy's boat? It is filling up fast, isn't it? He's got a lot of people and animals on his boat. For a little while, they all went along happily, but then the goat kicked, the calf trampled, the chickens flapped, the sheep bleated. So when a sheep bleats, it goes, bah. The pig mucked about, the dog teased the cat, the cat chased the rabbit, the rabbit hopped, the children squabbled, the boat tipped. And into the water they fell. Uh-oh. Then Mr. Gumpy and the goat and the calf and the chickens and the sheep and the pig and the dog and the cat and the rabbit and the children all swam to the bank and climbed out to dry in the hot sun. We'll walk home across the fields, said Mr. Gumpy. It's time for tea. Boys and girls, does Mr. Gumpy seem mad? He doesn't. Looky there. Goodbye, said Mr. Gumpy. Come for a ride another day. Okay, boys and girls, can you turn to, to someone near you and tell them the most important thing that happens in the story? Or tell the most important things that happen in the story? Okay, so the story starts off with Mr. Gumpy. He goes for a boat ride. And then who goes with him? children and many animals, then what happens? The boat tips and they all go to Mr. Gumpy's for tea and they all become friends. The animals aren't very good on the boat, are they? Why is it so difficult for the animals to behave in the boat? Sometimes it's hard to do the right thing. 
Think about what happened in the story. What do you think will happen the next time these friends go on outing, go on an outing on Mr. Gumpy's boat? Do you think it'll tip again? The animals all seem to be Mr. Gumpy's friends. How can you tell that Mr. Gumpy knows all of them? He says they can come on the outing with, with him and the children. He knows how they can sometimes behave. That's why he told the dog, please don't, che don't tease the cat, because he knows that the dog sometimes teases the cat. This is a fictional story that the author made up. How do you know this is a fictional story? The animals talk and act like people. The author gives clues about what will happen next. How does he do that? Yeah, there's a pattern on each page and it shows a new animal getting onto the boat. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story today, Mr. Gumpy's Outing.